Just a quick mission into the Goodwill. The key is fast and often. Fast and often. We want to hit it, go in, see if there's any great deals, and come by anytime we can. Anytime we're coming by, we head in quick, we get out quick. We don't want to waste money on stupid things, but we want to find those rare gems of deals. That could be great. So we're heading in. The perimeter here, all kinds of shirts. My boss gets his shirts here for a few bucks, color-coded. We got some fine shoes. We'll check out the shoe action. We found some potentials, some potentials. We got some Skechers, some sketchy Skechers because they're kind of nasty inside, but we would think about adding a different um, brand new pad. You want to try one of these red guys? Try a red dude, see how he feels. So we're going to give these Nikes a shot. You know, it's a real Nike brand. It seems to be the right size. We'll need to find some stuff for them. Found some other guys. Also Nike. Alright. We've got options here. Okay, we're going to go with these guys. Found a winner. They might be free. There's no cost. Probably not, though. Okay, we're leaving the Goodwill. And score. Got some good Nikes. Four ninety nine, and five dollars. Good, good cheap flip flops. Good cheap flip flops. Forty nine cents. As you can see, he needed some shoes. They're kind of falling apart. And so another score at Goodwill. You never know what you're gonna get. So you gotta be careful. Okay, so we were doing some school, but also some research about the new. Uh, shoes we found at Goodwill and Alex discovered that these Nike Air Jordans that we recently found that fit him well for five dollars at Goodwill actually cost what? Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars at a big box retailer but you also discovered something about Mrs. Rogers shoes which were purchased at Goodwill the Merrells right? Meryl and we also found these green lovely things at the Goodwill for Seth one last thought about the Goodwill purchasing is that um, when you buy stuff second hand you keep it out of the landfill many times <laughs> many times those shoes would have ended up in the trash dump but it's better for them to protect someone's feet than to just have to go straight to the dump. That's a good way to save energy, resources. It's a good conservative mindset to conserve the stuff that we've, that we've already invested in. Just a quick note, these are my chosen footwear. I wear them 97% of the time. They're very comfortable. I find them at Walmart. They cost five dollars, four ninety nine, brand new, made in the USA. Made in the USA. There it says. Um, these are my work ones. I use these at work when painting or roofing. And these ones are my dress ones. I use these for nice nights out on the town date poor man's date nights and the like you see they don't have splatter of paint and so they last a long time they're very comfortable pretty hefty uh, they won't last nearly as long as an African sandal made out of an old tire those are better but these do pretty well